Welcome to the Morning Star Sector Review. I'm Holly Black. With me is Henry Heathfield. He's an equity analyst in Morning Star Amsterdam. Hello. Hi, Holly. So M and G Prudential have just completed a demerger. Can you tell us what that means? Yep. So basically, uh, Prudential PLC, the group that used to be um, encompass or used to encompass um, Jackson National Life, the U.S. business. Um, Asia, Prudential Corporation Asia, and um, M&G Prudential has spun out M&G Prudential as the stub. Um, what remains for Prudential PLC is um, the US business and the Asia business. The um, stub M&G um, houses the UK and European life insurance and um, asset management business. Uh, the split took place on a one-for-one -one basis. So why do companies split out like this? So basically for Prudential PLC and now M&G, um, we think the main reason for the split is uh, investor attention and transparency. So ultimately M&G prior to the split operating within the group um, was operating in the shadow of much more successful divisions. Um, the US and Asia businesses are both asset light, they're high growth and they're very um, well performing. Uh, the US business, for example, grew its variable annuities business rapidly during the VA crisis. What has happened to MNG Prudential is that it hasn't received as much invested limelight and we think management um, are now in a much better position um, to pursue uh, value drivers for the business. So what's the Morningstar rating on these stocks? Does it change the investment case for the business? Uh, it doesn't change the investment case for the business. Um, we think it probably provides uh, clarity to what will drive the business. So now that m and has spun out of um, Prudential PLC, you really get a clearer picture of um, what, is, what is good about this company. So if you look at Proof Funds, um, it's a very unique um, offering. It offers a suite of funds that have a, a smooth investment return effect. And that's basically a, a product offering that sits in the middle between traditional and unit linked business. So that's old and new. The performance of the funds is very good, typically over 700 basis points. And it's really unrivaled in the UK. And uh, M&G are looking to roll this uh, product suite out to Europe. And how does that sit within the wider context of the industry? Is M&G and Peru more appealing than other rivals? So M&G uh, is essentially made up of a life insurance and an asset management business. So what I've just spoken about, Proof Funds, uh, that's the life insurance business, the asset management business, uh, that uh, has been experiencing an elevated number of outflows. But we think there are pretty good reasons for these outflows. And if you normalize on a, on a three-year basis, um, looking forward, uh, we think market sentiment um, is overly negative. Henry, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Holly. And thanks for joining us.